Divorce is chic now, you guys. Divorce is what? Divorce is chic? Oh, good. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maya, if you're new here, I clicked on video and you chose to stay. Be aware that I may be triggering to you. I actually want better for females, so I really am happy you're here and I'm gonna be speaking some truth now. So hold on tight and I hope you get some realizations out of this video. Okay. Let's first start off with women and social media. We have a rising of Instagram hoes and a dropping of wives and gr good wives and good mothers are depleting right now. And I think it's actually becoming quite concerning. Um, I'm seeing a lot of 20 year olds going down the path of OnlyFans and exposing themselves and destroying their future. I think the bad bitch community is really the sad bitch community because being a bad bitch is literally just being a hyper masculine woman of being way too independent don't need no man oh but you're gonna want a man if uh there's a stranger trying to steal your bag and you can't fight him off you're gonna need a man to come and uh save you won't ya <sighs> don't get me started on that topic so if you're a bad bitch and you wanna shake them asses, you wanna show them titties for a little bit of male validation, please do it. But um, please don't get mad at men for saying sexual things to you, replying to you, only wanting you for sex. What do you expect when you show yourself online? You're showing yourself to sad little pedophiles that probably can't even get ladies out and about, of course they're gonna be saying sexually degrading things to you. So don't get mad. You're participating in it. The market value for females is definitely dropping. If I was a man, I would not want to date the majority of the modern day females. I wouldn't. Most of them don't even look the same as they do on Instagram and in person. All they care about are themselves, I would say for the majority of the part, there's more female narcissists than male narcissists. I can't speak upon men because I'm not a man. So I'm not even gonna touch that subject. But I am a female and I do see the concerns out there that are not addressed. And if I do address these things, I'm gonna be looked at as a female hater. And that's not the case. Me actually saying to women that you have more <laughs> intelligence and you have more worth than what your tits and your ass look like and then I'm I'm the hater are we brain dead now too I can't even speak my truth anymore on TikTok because I get shadow banned every time I call out women because the women don't like it by women saying no one asks no one cares da -da 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 -da. okay but I do care because I want children and I don't want my children growing up in today's society with all these toxic people. It really does, you guys. It comes back to what, what social media has done to this day and age. And we're seeing the effects of it now. We're seeing the effects now and we're gonna continue seeing the effects now. I really do hope that there's still females out there that want to have a healthy household, that actually aspire to be a wife that aspire to have children. I'm not saying you have to have children or be a wife to live a great life, I'm not. But I really do hope that young females don't view that as a, a horrible option. That path is declining. We have more females right now hating on men, I think, than ever before. Even during the first feminist wave, I really do think females hate men more nowadays than previously. Even though women were way more suppressed previously. If a man actually has the audacity to call you out for being a low value woman, if uh, half of your Instagram followers have seen you naked and they don't look at you as wife material, we actually have the audacity to get mad at that. I swear, most females would not want to date themselves, but then they expect a good man to come on down and save ya. Do we need a wake up call? And I know you guys, I'm trying to be softer in my videos. I try, it's really hard for me to, to be soft with you because this is common sense and we've made common sense stupid 
and we've made stupidity common sense. And that's a little scary. I'm a little scared about that. I don't know about you guys, but I actually want a man to treat me right. Um, I want to treat myself right with love and care. Um, I want better for our society. I want males and females not to hate one another. I want more women to act like women and not like hyper-masculine men who cover up as, as females, but they're really just scared of being a female because they've never had any males treat them good while they acted like females. So now female is a scary thing, but it just comes back to you needing to heal some trauma. And then you can show up in this world and contribute to society other than just showing your ass and tits. That's all. And I've realized this as well, you guys, we don't actually have a lot of female role models these days. We don't. A lot of these ex porn stars, now social media influencers telling women how to basically hate men because of their own shitty experiences and their lack of discernment when it comes to choosing the right guy and actually brainwashing young women to think, I'm Emily Ratajkowski. I'm this famous model and I've sexualized myself even though I'm, I made a whole book of how it was like to be sexualized. But I'm still sexualizing myself because I haven't learned even from my own words and my own mistakes. And I'm gonna actually say to women that divorce is chic. Divorce is chic now, you guys. Divorce is what? Divorce is chic? Oh, good. I can marry whatever guy comes my way. Yes, yes. And and because of my, my lack of discernment and knowing what a good guy means, I'll say yes to him. And, and yes, divorce is a possibility. And it's actually become chic. Holy shit. Holy mother F. I'm scared. We have ex porn stars, like I said, Mia Khalifa coming out. Divorce. I got married and divorced three times because I don't need to settle for any guys. Because if you're not bringing anything to the table, I'm gonna leave you. If you don't treat me right, I'm gonna leave you. None of these females own up to any of their own shit in those relationships. We we actually really like to point fingers at men and men are the problem. Any man that comes into your life and does not treat you well, look yourself in the mirror and ask, why did I tolerate that? What signs did I ignore early on while dating this man to actually say yes to marriage and not do any healing work on myself after the divorce and then get married again and again? and still blaming men as the problem. But me, I don't have a problem. I just divorce men because they're trash. I am the prize. I am the prize. Oh, okay. I sound crazy, I know. I really do know. Females that do call women out, you just hate us, don't you? You're just jealous, aren't you? You're jealous, you're a jealous female. I'm definitely not jealous of women right now. I really am not. I actually care about women and I, I care about men and I care about our society and where it's going and I care about the next generation of children. I don't want them growing up in a society where um, men and female hate each other and there's actually a drop of healthy households out there because people get married now and don't give a fuck about marriage. It's just, ooh, let's plan the wedding and then post it on social media and make it seem like we love each other. But I know you're a dirtbag and I'm surely a dirtbag. We need more people to come out and speak upon this. We can call out modern day society and stop repeating it. Can we just maybe try? Instead of hating on me for speaking my truth, more women please come out and speak on this topic. It's like, if you want better for society, you hate us, don't you? You hate us. You hate the way that society is because you're living in your own delusion, Maya. I'm gonna keep living in my own delusion because my delusion is at least wanting better for our society and for people. So yes, yes, I am living in delusion then. I really do want better for us, ladies, I do. I want us to be in relationships that are healthy and not narcissistic. I want us to be able to actually validate ourselves and love ourselves before we get into relationships with these men who really teach us exactly what love is not. I actually care that more females are divorcing their husbands than ever before. 
that's concerning. I don't necessarily think it's all the guy's fault. I think it's the woman's fault of not being able to discern a good man from not a good man. I really do feel crazy. I really keep to myself. And the more I've kept to myself and exited out of Instagram and all these social media platforms, are showcasing just toxicity it does make me feel crazy when i call women out now i'm the female hater but i love us i love females i'm actually for the girlies i am for the girlies and i'm addressing truth and truth the truth can be triggering let's be real with ourselves ladies what are we wanting out of this life are we wanting to be a slave to instagram and social media all of our lives do we want to really showcase our bodies and then by the time we're in our 40s, guys not giving us the same attention we had in our 20s and now hating on men even more? Probably not liking ourselves either because we're so over-identified with the way we look that when we do age now, um, we're going to be really hard on ourselves. And I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm thinking about our futures here. I'm not thinking about what it means to be an it girl or how to get a huge following by the way I look. I know that my looks are not going to be the same 10 years. I'm going to be forever changing. But what's going to be continually growing is my soul, is my outlook on life, is what I can provide to this earth, what I can provide to my husband, to my children. I really do think with the whole social media age that we're in right now, I think for our next generation, children are going to grow up in a lot more unhealthy households, a lot more separated households than ever before. It's sad to say that, but I think it really is the truth as of social media. Listen, like I, whoever watches this, yeah, we're in our, our 20s, maybe in our 30s and when you're in your 20s and your 30s and you have this Instagram platform and guys are always giving you their attention in that rat race of needing to get male validation from an online source and not actually real humans or not even like a good husband, there you're going to be really depressed when you're in your 40s and your 50s and those same options aren't there for you anymore. You actually didn't take the time in your 20s and your 30s to discover yourself and discover your purpose and what you can provide to this this world other than your sexuality. And then you get into your 40s and you wonder, where did all the good men go? Well, you ha you missed your, your kind of your shot. Women don't think about marriage in their 20s. I'd say for the most part, people don't think about that. People, ladies don't really think about how could I be a great wife to a man? And even me saying that, people are gonna be like, Ugh, you're such a suppressing woman, Maya. How can I be a good wife to a man? Why the fuck is that a bad thing to say? How can I be a good wife to a man? No, it's more normal now to say how to use Facetune without getting called out for using Facetune. That's probably more searched on the web than what it means to be a good wife. I really do see it all the time now, you guys. Women are way too overly sexualized. It's really sad. Even the women who say that they're for the women are the ones who are sexualizing themselves the most. And then hating on men for being overly sexual and why is there no good men out there? <sighs> Part of it is the female presence online. If you're in your 20s and you're in your 30s and you're really hot right now and, and you really love showing yourself online and your hotness, you're not wrong for that. If you want validation from people, you're not wrong. But trust me, in your 40s and in your 50s, that won't be available to you. So if you're getting used to this and you're getting kind of addicted to this and you're actually missing out on a good man because you'd rather post yourself half naked, um, I really do wish you guys the best uh, in your mature life. I do. I think what's most important is just women and men owning their shit. If you're a certain type of woman and you're happy and empowered in that state, I'm not like shaming you for whatever you choose to do as a woman, but don't expect a great man in your life. You actually have a problem with your man saying that he wants you to stop posting on social media, your, your ass and tits, and you, you make him in the wrong. I feel bad for those guys. There's so many women right now that would rather keep their Instagram and keep being a hoe 
than having a good guy in their life and that good guy telling them to delete their Instagram and them choosing their Instagram and strangers over a good man. Let's reenact what a modern day household is gonna look like for our children maybe. Okay, let's start. Uh, honey, I'm home. I just had a really hard day in the workforce. Bringing home what I need to bring home for you to stay with me because I have to be this big provider man. Can you make me a sandwich or something? Honey, don't ask me to make you a sandwich. I had such a busy day showing my ass online for $4.99 a month. I'm exhausted talking to all these guys for money. But honey, I'm being this provider protector man and you can't make me a sandwich? Fuck no, I can't make you a sandwich, honey. That's being a suppressed lady. We don't realize the effects it has right now. But when we, when this generation is in their 30s and 40s or 40s and 50s, we're going to be looking back like, oh, my value really wasn't in my body. Darn it. Uh, uh, I should have figured out some, some intelligence when I was younger instead of just getting on OnlyFans when, in, when I was 20 and making some, some money that didn't last me up until this point. Where's all the good guys now? They're not knocking on your door, sweetheart. I'll tell you that. If you've made it this far, you guys, I really do not make these videos to shame women. I, I really don't. I don't make these videos to suppress women more from their right to choose whatever they want with their lives. I just want to highlight this truth that I'm seeing in the modern day society. And I'm already starting to see what it could be like in our future if we don't shine a little bit of light on this topic. I really do think we need more female role models in this, in this life that aren't just influencers or that want to just make money online by showing themselves and degrading themselves. Women are such powerful beings. We're here for just as much purpose as men. Our purpose nowadays is really shallow. Not a lot of women speak intelligence into this world. Sometimes I feel dumber listening to some women. I lose brain cells sometimes with certain women out there on social media, which is another reason why I actually had to delete the app. I'm not saying I'm like this all high and mighty female because I'm telling women not to show their bodies and I'm actually trying to support females and males at the same time. It's just because I care about you guys. You can't always make the guys the problem. And I think that's a really hard time that women have right now. We have a hard time looking ourselves in the mirror and being like, holy shit, it's not the men. It's not the men, it's, it's me. It's me. Why am I attracting these guys into my life? Why do I think my only value is my body? Why did I think OnlyFans was the best option for my life? That's all I'm saying, you guys. Know that there's some great women out there that are great role models. I just, I want better for us women. I want us to have men, good men in our lives. I want more men to have more options of good women. I want women to have better options of men. But we really have to stop pointing the finger of who's doing what because we both have a part in it. We just have to own our shit. All right, you guys, I'm sorry, but I had to address the things that are not being addressed. And you guys might not like me for it. You might, might view me as a hater. And if anyone has to view me as a hater, please do that because you have every right to view me as that. Um, but if you've made it this far into the video, it's probably for a reason. So I hope you got something out of it. I hope we can make a change in this society and see our next generation flourish into something a lot better than what we're in now. I care about you guys. I love you guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked this video. Leave a comment down below if you liked it or if you didn't like it. I'm open to the comments because you're allowed to hate on me and you're allowed to like me. Hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.